Ayo hey friendos, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I promised you a two looks, one palette tutorial with the Natasha Denona My Dream palette. Now the first look we did was fabulous, but I definitely wanna dive right back in and see what else we can create. So friendos, if you are excited to see how I pull off two more looks, then just stay tuned. So friendos, I figured we'd start out today with my Sephora crease brush. Now this one is big and fluffy. This is gonna be a really smoked out, sultry look. So let's go in with Unity and Instinct. We're gonna do a one-to-one -one ratio there. So we're going from here to here. We are not going to branch over into this area. I'm bringing this farther down than what I normally do. I know this looks weird, but friendos just trust the process. And guys, now I'm gonna go in with the shade Black is Black on my NJC E05. And I'm gonna be really careful not to go over too far. I wanna do the center of my eye and downward. I know this looks crazy at first, but friendos, it's, it's gonna come together. And guys, this is looking pretty messy, but it's gonna get cleaned up. I'm gonna wipe that same brush off. We're gonna go back in with Instinct. What I'm gonna do now is smoke out my lower lash line. We're just gonna do some connecting here. And friendos, I'm sure you can see just how smoked out this is. I'm not staying super close to the lower lash line. And I'm also not blending too far upward. I'm just letting this connect where it connects. Next up, we're gonna go in with the shade Nurture. All right, so in with the shade Nurture on my Tres Luce B103. Kind of start blending the black into that and making just small little circles on my way down. And already this is starting to look less scary and more like an eye look. <laughs> now starts coming the fun part. We're going to go in with Vision and that's gonna be the duochrome shade. And I'm going in appropriately on my Natasha Denona number 11. Since I didn't show this in my last video, I'm gonna show you putting it down without it being wet. So it's still pretty potent. Let's see what it can do with a sprayed brush. Yeah, there we go, guys. Now I'm not taking this all the way into my inner corner. I'm gonna stop a little bit short. Okay, then in my inner corner, I want to put the shade Thrill. And this is on a Natasha Nona number seven. Typically, I would use this for some sort of shading, but you know, it's really the perfect size just to fit into that inner corner. Then on my LR138, I'm gonna go back into Black as Black and start to smoke out my lash line. Well, I guess I'm not really smoking it out as much as I am just putting it down. Then I'm gonna smoke it out with another brush. But I just wanna get as close to my lash line as I possibly can. Then right here, we're gonna do something a little bit different. I'm going to go away from the lash line. Away. And it's just gonna be a strong angle down. Now, friendos, y'all know I have those downturned eyes, those beautiful eyes that everyone in the world wants. Not. So what I'm going to do in order to lift my eyes is I'm going to use a very sharp angle when I do my eyeliner. So I reach for this eyeliner all the time. It's by House Labs. If you've been a subscriber of mine for very long at all, then you know this is one of my absolute favorites. So let's get to it. Okay, so that <laughs> that happened pretty nicely. Now, can I repeat the same on the other side? Well, friendos, that's the trick. So if you don't mind, we're just gonna take a moment of prayer to the makeup gods that I can make this match up, so. Okay, we're ready. Okay. 
Lastly, to smoke out the lower lash line just a little bit more. And friendos, I'm gonna go apply my lashes off camera and I'll be right back to you guys. Okay, friendos, everything is on now except for our finishing touches. So I thought we would go in with the new Elephant palette from Hourglass and use the blush from there. Let's start out with this pretty pinky peachy color. And then we'll go in with the more true pink for the sides. Then we'll use the bronzer over here. And then finally, friendos, I'm going to dip into the highlight shade and dust it on the top of my cheek. Then for my lips today, I'm going to go in with Empress. This is the Panoramic Longwear Lip Liner from Hourglass. And then guys, I am going to top this off with the Isamaya Lip Black Maximizing Lip Serum in Blackville. And friendos, this is our completed look. Let me know what you think about it. Then I won't waste your time any further. Let's just get into that second look. Friendos, stay tuned. So friendos, I'm feeling something slightly more matte, I think, with this look. Now we're not going full matte. It's just going to be a little bit more matte. So let's start out with Nurture. And I'm going to go all over my mobile lid and a little bit above. This is on a Sigma E65. So this is probably a weird point to talk about it, but I was thinking on the palette today as I was going throughout my day, and I'm just surprised at how warm toned this palette is in person versus how it looked online. Did you guys think the same thing? Like, did you think that this was like mainly a cool tone palette? Because I really did. But no, there's a nice mix of cool, neutral, and warm tones in this palette, which I think lends to its versatility. And next, you guys, I think we should go in with Aspiration. It's the dark chocolatey brown here. And friendos, the more I try out this palette, the more I'm loving it. I just feel like... I can get so many different looks out of this palette, and that has not been true for the last few Natasha launches. And y'all, this is on a Lena Chu E02. I kind of went in a little heavy-handed on the other side. I didn't realize just how potent this shade was. I definitely put down more than what I intended to and made a little bit of a mess. But that's okay. It'll all get cleaned up in the end. I'm trying to get this evened out, y'all. I really went in way too heavy on this side. Okay guys, and now I'm gonna dip into Familia. I keep trying to say it with an Italian accent, and I can't. It just comes out Spanish every time. <laughs> and this is on my NJC E05. Okay, so then we're gonna go in with Carpe Diem. I'm just gonna go on the outer edge here. There just wasn't enough on the outer edge, my sister says. So we're just, we're gonna keep on keeping on. And Frendo is going back in with Carpe Diem on a refer 14. Just gonna go right down the middle here and blend that in. Then I'm taking it on the outer edges to get everything else smooth and blended. Then I'm going to go into the shade Invention this beautiful yellow orange. Now this one's a little bit hard to pick up on the brush, but I just really battle it out. <laughs> and friend knows this is just gonna go on my lower lash line. And then to get everything just <laughs> blended in, blended out one more time, we're going to go back in with the shade we started with, Nurture.
So it looks a little wonky right now, but don't you guys worry. We're gonna bring it all together when we do the eyeliner and lashes. So I'm gonna start out over here in the corner. Okay, friendo, so this is intense. I really like the orange underneath here. It just brings some balance back. So guys, I cannot resist reaching for my new Hourglass Butterfly Palette. Let's go in with this red shade right here for my blush. I'm gonna go in extremely light-handed because I don't want anything to take away from the drama going on on the eyes. And let's bronze up a little bit more. keep going back and forth in my head guys on whether or not I want to do a bold lip or whether or not I want to do something a little bit more subtle. <laughs> my head just exploded trying to make up my mind. Let's just do Lip Maestro. No, Polywog, we did that one earlier. Yes, I did. <laughs> Polywog, my eyelash is popping off and I blame you. So this is Lip Maestro, the color that is just so faded away that I have no idea what it is. Of course, from Armani. And friendos, this is our completed look. Y'all let me know what you think of it. It's pretty bold, I have to say. I'm really digging the orange underneath the eyes, though. I just think that that really helps the blue in my eyes to really pop. I've got to go beat up my little sister off camera because she's been harassing me this entire video. I got on my teeth. I wish you all a phenomenal rest of your day. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Comment down below, let me know which look was your favorite out of the two. And of course, subscribe if you have not done so already. Because if not, we both have to live in the sorrow of never knowing. What could happen? <laughs> okay guys, have a great one. Bye.